What's going on, YouTube? Ryan here, personal trainer at Byward Market. The lovely Jules, personal trainer manager at Byward Market. Today's topic, mind-body, mind-to-muscle connection. What does that mean, Jules? What does that mean to you? What does it mean in general? What is the this benefit of mind-to-muscle connection, mind and body connection, and just overall understanding how your body feels and moves with your mind? I mean, pretty much that. It helps you understand what's doing what and what a muscle contraction feels like in order to maximize the exercises that have been either picked for you by your personal trainer or that you have picked for yourself. If you know what those feel like, you can then maximize muscle growth. Because if you don't know you're working it, how are you working it? And it's very easy, especially in, you probably agree with me, upper back movement. Yeah, back is... Most people think like, I don't tough. feel my back, I yeah. feel my arms. Okay, when we're doing a seated row, regardless of the hand placement, however we want to row, chain of movement. Hands, forearms, biceps, shoulder, upper back. If our focus is our upper back, that is the dominant muscle group in that particular range of motion. So it's the strongest, it's the biggest. Everything that supports that particular movement, your hands, your forearms, your biceps, your shoulders, they're all smaller. So when people are like, oh, my biceps are giving out, my forearms are giving out, my hands are giving out, yes, that's, that's just genuinely what's gonna happen because there are smaller muscle groups having to support a larger load for your bigger muscle group. What the mind to muscle connection does for you is when you're squeezing, you feel that upper back working, you feel the muscles engaging in your back, so you know they're working. Everything else is still going to fatigue, that's just the way it goes, but knowing that those muscles are working and happening, then you know you're targeting the right movement. But if you're just going through the range of motion and your mind is only focusing, oh, my grip is going, my grip is going, my grip is going, you might not actually be squeezing your back. You might just yeah. be rotating through your shoulders. You might just be pulling it all from your biceps. So you're not actually getting the benefit of the movement. You're just, you're just moving to move. So that connection allows the body to identify the, the large muscle group that is required, but it also acknowledges that, yeah, it's working. All the small groups are working as well. They're gonna fatigue first, but the connection still dictates to you that, hey, we were squeezing. Mm -hmm. We're working, it's still happening. Over time, the smaller muscles will slowly start to pick up and support the larger movements, but again, that takes time. Yep. How do you get someone to feel more connected? That's, it's hard. Because if you don't have any connection at all, sitting there telling you to feel connected is like an insult. Yeah. Like, oh, sweet, I would love to be more connected, but I don't feel it. When you squeeze a muscle, so let's go back to the row, understand that your shoulder blades need to contract. So your shoulder blades, scapula, however you want to call them. Two big bones on your upper back. Yeah. They need to come in, and those muscles that pull them in need to be held and squeezed. The squeeze and the hold over time will become more apparent in your mind, and then that's when we get that burn, so that muscle burn, that yeah. lactic acid burn. All those things will slowly start to tell your mind, okay, we're connected. Yeah. We know it's working, we know it's working, we know it's moving, something is happening. It starts with that. And then I'd say what? Give, give yourself months. Yeah, like a, 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 strong, a stronger muscle is easier to connect with. Absolutely. So obviously at first it's gonna be a little harder, but if you do it properly and build strength and build muscle and over time, it'll just be easier for you to feel those things because you'll become stronger. But that's if you do it properly from the start. And not to make it even more frustrating and confusing, <laughs> when you don't feel a muscle working, compensation can come into play. Yeah. You might need to do what I call, and you might have a different word, uh, mobility movements, trigger movements, things that stimulate those muscles, yeah. where when you go into bigger movements, they're stimulated where they're firing properly. Perfect example, when you go into a squat and all you feel is quads, but you don't feel any glute, you're not connecting yourself to your glute, you're not squeezing your glute, you don't feel the range of motion, you don't feel the excess, the long contraction at the bottom. So when people are like, well, I don't feel my glutes, I can't help you feel them for you. No. We can do small movements that fire them, but you have to be conscientiously thinking about those glutes through the range of motion that targets yeah. them. If you're with a trainer and you're going through a movement, you need to be like, where should I be feeling it? X, Y, Z. And if you're like, hey, I don't, okay, step back, do something that gets those glutes firing, that gets that brain connected yeah. to them, and then go back to the movement, and you'll find that they're, yeah. you'll find that that helps significantly. But going through the range of motion and not ever identifying what's going on will always leave you wondering, did I hit the muscle that I was supposed yeah. to? And you always will, 
but yeah. you will f you'll struggle yeah. to feel progress because it just feels like you're moving to move. And yeah, it that happens a lot though. Where it, it does, but like, muscles also go dormant. Like if you sit on your oh, if you sit mean, all day, yeah. your your glutes aren't really being stimulated in any particular regard. They lazy, yeah. unworked, however you want to word it. They 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 need attention. Glutes yeah. need love too. Yeah. From a, from a muscle standpoint. Yeah. <laughs> On that note, Mind to Muscle Connection. We'll see you in the next video. This is Jules. I'm Ryan. Like, comment, subscribe. See y'all.